Hi there, my name's Adrian. Thanks for visiting the website. Just wanted to give you a quick overview of the, um, the Managing Disc book and also the Emotional Intelligence book. I just wanted to put uh, a little bit of human into the, um, into the web page. So this is the Managing Disc book. Usually it's $24.99. Both of these together, as you can see on the page, are $39.99. So I don't believe that there's a, a better deal anywhere. Um, anywhere. This one here is a 24-page document. The managing disc you get your test paper you can print that off as many times as you like so so even if you paid 24.99 for it you could you could um, profile your whole, whole team and then the rest of the book explains exactly what disc is so we've got what is disc uh, the benefits of using disc how it works a little bit of history of disc where it's come from because it's not new um, consistent characteristics and these are these are quite cool because then you will then be able to profile your team members you'll be able to um, literally walk down the street in a non-weird way and start profiling people by the way that they walk, the clothes that they wear, those sort of things. It's a, it's a fascinating subject. I remember once I was in an office and my manager, he would send me an email asking me for something and I'm thinking, he's over there. Why is he sending me a, um, uh, an email? And then I would then go over, over to him and then I would ask him a question and he's thinking, why didn't you send me an email? And with these um, consistent characteristics, you then learn about the preferred communication style of, of each, the D, the I, the S, and the C. Me being an ID, I prefer to talk and tell. My manager over there in the corner of the office, he pref he's a high C, he prefers to write. So, so if I don't appreciate his style and he doesn't appreciate my style, then a need is removed. And if you remove a need you're going to potentially get conflict. And that's why this, this tool is so, is so powerful. Um, like I say, there's, there's, there's absolutely loads and loads of information in here. And I've also put the colours on. So if you've done colours in the past, here we go. So we've got the S, which is green. Um, uh, it, it helps with the, um, the colours if you've done that. This is the Emotional Intelligence book. This is a really chunky um, um, book. This one here is 41 pages long. Just to, just to quickly explain the contents on this. So we've got the test paper that you and your team members fill in. And then it goes into the five pillars of emotional intelligence. Self-awareness, self-management, self-motivation, empathy and social skills. Those go deeper into what those pillars are and how you can potentially improve them if you see that as a, as a development uh, a developmental need. Then we've got examples of high and low emotional intelligence at work. Then we've got your development goal. So what is it that you want to do? It's all right buying these books, but if you don't do anything with it, then it's just a waste of paper. It's just a waste of investment. So we've got weekly reflections here. Weekly reflections are to do with self-awareness and self-management and that sort of stuff. So it's having a having a think about how you're, you, you're getting on um, each week. Um, and then your, your personal development log like I said. So these can be used as a, um, as a performance manager in, within the performance management system. So, so within my team, I would use these in recruitment. I would use them in onboarding. I would use them in the two-day orientation that my team members, every single team member had. I would have them in the 12-week um, induction, the six-month probation, the monthly one-to-ones, and then the 12th monthly appraisal, which is the uh, the 12th monthly one-to-one, -one, if you like. And I would use the information in here, not every single one, because then it will just get boring, but I would use them in, in review. So I would have a six-monthly review, and then I would also have another look at them um, at, the, uh, at the appraisal. And then i get them to do it again. And then if you want, because obviously these are, um, these are you filling in these forms, get a team member to fill them in about you, and then you'll get somebody else's perspective. So I hope that's just giving you a little bit of information about what, what these contain and how awesome they can be for your team.